Hi boys and girls, I'm Miss Sparkle and this is Rosie Posy Girl. Today we're pretending like we are beautiful ballerinas. We both have our crowns on, like we're going to be Clara in the Nutcracker. We're going to read a story called Mia's Nutcracker Ballet and we're going to do a craft that you can either use popsicle sticks or you might could use toilet paper tubes, which I'm going to do today, or you just might have the pieces to dance around. And then you can dance around the room however you'd love to. Rose, are you ready? Let's get started. Mia's Nutcracker Ballet, written by Robin Farley and illustrated by Olga and Alexi Ivanov. Mia's Nutcracker Ballet. On a cold winter's night, from inside her cozy room, Mia watches a special ballet outside her window. The sky hangs like a dark curtain, the moon shines like a spotlight, and snowflakes dance like tiny ballerinas, swaying and twirling in the wind. Mia, Dad calls. Please come down for dinner. Mia scoots out of her room on her tippy toes, just like a real ballerina. Downstairs, everyone is ready for a big family feast. Mia makes a grand entrance. Watch this, she says, spinning her finest pirouette. Mia's big sister giggles. <laughs> I taught her that, says Ava. Ava is a ballerina. Mia wants to be just like her when she grows up. After dessert, it is time for presents. Grandpa saves his gift for last. A bright red box with gold and silver bows. This is for our littlest dancer, he says with a smile. Mia opens the box. Inside is a wooden toy. It looks like a man in a suit. When Mia moves the back of his coat, his mouth opens and closes. A nutcracker, says Ava. She is very excited, but Mia doesn't understand. Do you know the story of the Nutcracker Ballet? asks Grandpa. Mia shakes her head. Come here and I will tell you, he says. It starts on a night just like this one. Mia closes her eyes and listens very carefully. One Christmas Eve, a little girl named Clara is at a fancy party. There are lots of people there and lots of presents. Clara and her brother Fritz help decorate a beautiful tree. Suddenly the door opens. Clara's godfather has come to join them, bringing gifts for all the boys and girls. He has a special present just for Clara, a small wooden nutcracker. The other children laugh when they see Clara's presents. Fritz, Fritz, Fritz thinks it's so silly that he throws it on the ground. He breaks the nutcracker's jaw. But little Clara loves her toy. She cradles her nutcracker and wraps a bandage around his head. She rocks him to sleep and lays him down to rest. Then Clara goes to bed too. Later, Clara slips out of bed to visit the nutcracker. She tippy toes over just as the clock strikes 12. When the last chime sounds, something strange starts to happen. The Christmas tree grows bigger and bigger. The whole room becomes enormous. Little gray mice creep out of every corner, including one mouse king, much bigger than the others. Clara clutches her toy by her hand. Please protect me, she whispers. I will, says the nutcracker. Clara can't believe her ears. 
The Nutcracker springs into action. He tells the Mouse King to leave at once, but the Mouse King just laughs. Whoa, ha, ha, ha. The two start to fight, dancing faster and faster. Clara wor worries that her friend will get hurt. She knows she must help him stop the Mouse King. In a flash, Clara makes a decision. She takes off one of her shoes and throws it with all of her might at the Mouse King. He is so surprised that he runs away immediately. I guess we will protect each other, says a voice. Clara turns around and gasps. <gasps> First, the Nutcracker had come to life, and now he had turned into a handsome prince. You have been so kind to me, the prince says to Clara. You cared for me when everyone laughed. He helped me scare away the Mouse King. I wanted to thank you with something special. The prince led Clara outside with a wave of his hand, the snowflakes falling to the ground, come to life. They dance and sing for Clara. Please come with me to my kingdom, says the prince. My friend, the Sugar Plum Fairy, will want to meet you. The prince helps Clara into the boat. There are dolphins in the water waiting to take them wherever they want to. The land of sweets, the prince says. Clara watches the land of sweets get closer with every swish of the dolphin's tail. Soon she can see the whole kingdom there are candy cane houses. There are gumdrops on every corner. The snow covers everything like frosting on a cupcake. Clara has never seen anything quite so beautiful. The sugar plum fairy curtsies as she greets the prince and Clara. We've heard all about your kindness and your bravery, she tells Clara. Tonight, you are our guest of honor. One by one, the people of the kingdom dance for Clara. First comes the chocolate dance, then the coffee dance, and the tea dance, and the waltz performed by delicate flowers. Finally, the Sugar Plum Fairy dances a very special ballet. She glides, she twirls, she leaps high in the air. Her toe shoes move so swiftly that Clara gasps in wonder. Look at that. She's such a beautiful ballerina. Thank you, Clara, for all you have done. The people of the Land of Sweets call. Please stay with us forever. The Sugar Plum Fairy puts a crown on Clara's head. The prince takes her hand. Hooray for Clara, our hero, they sing. The land of sweets is loud with cheer. And that is the story of the Nutcracker Ballet, says Grandpa. Who, what do you think, Mia? Mia is quiet. She is still imagining the Sugar Plum Fairy's dance. I think it's time for bed, little one, says Mom. Mom helps Mia up to her room. She gives Mia a kiss. Mia snuggles under the covers. Her very own Nutcracker is keeping watch by her bed. We'll always protect each other, she whispers as she drifts off to sleep. Outside her window, the snowflakes dance with their special ballet. They twirl and they sway in the wind, covering Mia's house in a thin layer of frosting, just like they did in the Land of Sweets. Oh, isn't that a beautiful story? Boys and girls, have you ever seen real ballerina shoes? 
These are called point shoes. And these are actual shoes that you dance on your toes. These are called point shoes. Oh my goodness. Now, you have to be older and very strong to be able to, to dance with the point shoes. Okay, let's start our activity, our craft. Who do we see? We see Clara and the Nutcracker Prince. Now, underneath the video, there's a link that you can do this craft with me. At the underneath, um, there might be a show more button and you can click that and there'll be a link and you can copy this and print it on your printer and do this with me. And today I'm going to use um, toilet paper tubes to um, glue the characters to, or you could use a popsicle stick or you could just dance and sway with them. So I'm going to first start and I'm going to make Mia look just like the picture. So I'm going to use pink, which is my favorite color. And so her tutu is going to be pink. Leotard is pink. There we go. Of course, her ballet shoes are going to be pink, right? Make her body a little bit darker. Arena shoes or point shoes. Now, if she's just starting off, she probably has regular ballet shoes that don't have the hard toes. Watch this. Can you hear that? They're actually hard on the bottom. These are hard and regular ballet shoes are not hard on the bottom. Then her bow is going to be pink. Pretty soon I'm going to show you a bag that's full of all the nutcracker pieces. It's going to be so neat. And of course the inside of her ears are gonna be pink. And then, let's see, the, uh, this part of her eye is black. And her little nose. Oh, her nose is pink. Ah! I almost colored it black, all black. There we go. And her lips are kind of red. And then she, mm, I'm going to do a light black. I'm going to do it kind of light. Not going to color hard. I'm going to color super, super light. Make it look like fur. There we go. Don't forget her tail. And her back arm and her front arm. And her neck and her little face. Around that part was white. I haven't done it, so I'm gonna keep that little part white. And then right here, I'm gonna be real careful. That's a little part of her head, and that's a little part of her head, and her cute little ears. She's so cute. Ooh, 
she's so pretty. Then I'm going to look in the book and I'm gonna make my Nutcracker a whole, like, whole lot like he looks. So he is an orange cat. So I'm gonna find orange. Where's me a good, there's that good orange. And he's the same way around his little uh, nose. It still stayed white. Then his tail. Don't forget his tail. He's a kitty cat. <laughs> and his boots. His boots are black. boots. Don't you love the music of the Nutcracker? I love the Nutcracker music. Oh, I forgot to do his little hands, his little paws. Top of his hat is red. I've got to find my red, red. Oh, that's violet red. That's brick red. Hmm. Where's my red, red? Oh, it's already here. Oh. Oh, that's wild strawberry. Oh, red. R E D. Just plain old red. And then the top of his hat. Okay, now I'm gonna color the buttons yellow first. Because if you do that, then it's easier to color your next color. So you won't, it won't automatically get on there. There we go. Like that part of the sword. Yellow. Now remember, this is yours. You can do it however you like to, okay? You might not want to make it the same colors as the book. And then his hat right here. His nose is pink. Oh. I'm not gonna make his lips quite as red, quite as dark. Which one's red, redder? Where's my red, red? His belt. And that's black. Shirt. Now, if you notice my nutcracker right here, whoa, my nutcracker has a green shirt on. There we go. Definitely need the pointy part for that to get between those circles. The 
bottom part of this shirt. Then I'm going to get, let's see, the silver. Side of his ears pink 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 and his covering of a sword was blue what else I'm gonna that blue kind of a turquoise blue And then I think his pants, I'm going to make them gray or silver. This is actually silver. It's a little bit shiny. Awesome. Okay, now if you notice, the outside part has a darker black line. That's the line we're going to cut. It's going to be a whole easier to cut that than to cut um than if I didn't do that but I'm gonna cut them apart first if I cut them apart it just makes it way easier to cut you don't have so much to hold on to so first I'm gonna cut out Mia now if you're not here yet you know, you can always pause your video. And catch up with me. And just think, you could have your own Nutcracker Ballet at your house. Maybe you have a crown. You want to be Clara. Maybe you have a big tall hat and you want to be the Nutcracker. Maybe you could make a snowflake and do the snowflake dance. You could be the sugar plum fairy. It would be great if you could watch uh, the movie of the Nutcracker. You might love it, just like me. That's a lot to cut, isn't it? Lots of little whoop de woos. Okay, there's Mia. Next for the prince. Sure you cut on the dark line. Just helps guide you around so you don't accidentally cut his head off or cut an arm off. Noticing this. This 
this is a music box that I got a long time ago, and it's got the Nutcracker and Clara. I don't like to take this guy's off. Isn't that beautiful? The Nutcracker. And it has Drosselmeyer, the uncle, the Mouse King. Oh. My battery's out. Oh, darn. But it plays the Nutcracker song. So beautiful. I'll have to get a new battery for that. Oh, that's a lot of cutting. I've got to work my hands. Do your hands get tired when you cut? Mine sure do. Now in here by the sword is very delicate. So if you just wanted to cut around it, that would be fine. go. More than halfway done. Woohoo! How are you doing on your activity? Oh my goodness. Almost done. Okay, there we go. I've got them both ready. Move that over. Move my shoes and I have my little pepper shoes. Now, before I glue these, I'm going to be real careful and make sure that they're not going to be too low because if they were too low, then they would, see how they would splat down? That wouldn't be fun. So I want to make sure that wherever I glue them, they're going to be good. Okay, so I'm looking at the I have to look at it this way. Sorry. Okay. Right there. I'm gonna gauge it. I'm gonna make it a little line. Doesn't take a lot. See how much how much I put on there? Just a little bit. Make sure. I'm not going to squeeze it tight. If I squeeze it tight, then it's going to, the toilet paper tube is going to smush. Ah, there he is. I'm going to put Mia on. And I want her to go there. Just a little line. Just a little bit. That's all we need is a teeny tiny bit. Remember, a little glue goes a long way. Make sure she's not too far down the bottom. Push her on there. See, I put a little bit so it doesn't mush out the edges. Oh, look! There we go. We have our nutcracker pieces. We have Clara and, or she's pretending to be Clara, and the nutcracker prince, and they can dance. Oh, my goodness, you could twirl around your hat. Have so much fun. You could put these on popsicle sticks. Or, I mean, if you don't have that, you could just dance them around. Okay, I've got one more really cool thing to show you before we go. And it's my bag. Oh, what's in here? Okay. Ready? Let me open it. 
open it up. Inside here is a special dress. Before I pop them out, I'm going to show you first. Where's... Here's my Clara. Now, in the story, first, it says that she's in her nightgown, right? And so she's asleep in her nightgown. And then when she wakes up, she has on her beautiful tutu. So her dress actually comes off. Isn't this neat? Her dress comes off. We can put on her costume. Isn't this neat how it changes? One of my mom's friends made this whole set for me. Drosselmeyer, the uncle. And who do you remember? Do you remember um, who Drosselmeyer is? Do you remember who he is? He's Clara's uncle. And Clara's uncle is the one that gives him, look at his little eye patch, gives him, gives Clara the nutcracker. So he gives her the nutcracker. Let's pretend like she still has her nightgown on. Right, there she is. That's her nightgown. And then she gets the nutcracker and she's so excited, right? She's loving her nutcracker. And what does Fritz, her brother, do? He throws it down and breaks it. And she's so sad. And so she fixed it. She put the bandage on him. And then she goes to sleep. Drosselmeyer goes home. And all of a sudden... King comes. Da, 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 da. He's mean, right? He's so mean and he fights with the nutcracker. Oh, so mean. And the nutcracker turns into a handsome prince. Look at the prince. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. And Clara and the prince are dancing. And where do they go? They go to the lands of sweets. And there they see. Finger puppets. They see the sugar plum fairy. And look, look at her wings. Look how cute. And she does a beautiful dance for them. Da -da 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 -da. Does a beautiful dance. And they watch. And they're so happy to see her. And then I want 
you to go spread those sparkles around everywhere you go. And if you can dance around spring sparkles, that's even better. Until next time, peace, love, sparkles.